汇款 ，nice and short， 今天的蛮短的，所以看可不可以多补充一些额外的知识。Right, keywords from one to ten. Branch, hereby, affect, remittance, overleaf, remitter, signature, payment, debt, comply. 对不起，第九应该是念 debit， 念错了。我刚刚念错了，我把 d e b i t 搞成搞错成 d e b t。OK， 所以 correction debit 跟 debt 这两个字，如果你不知道差异的话，可以去看一下。好，再念一次。Branch hereby affect remittance overleaf remitter signature payment debit comply。好。Let's take a look at the article. Okay, subject, application for remittance. 要申请汇款 Dear Bank of Taiwan, Tunghua Branch, I hereby request you to affect the following remittance remittances subject to the conditions overleaf which I have read and agreed to be bound by. Oh. 然后 T M T D D OK， 哦、oh, T T OK， 好，呃、uh, ，date amount name of beneficiary address of beneficiary name of remitter addresses address of remitter remarks signature in payment of the above remittance please debit my account with you。对，好奇怪，现在电话没有那么复杂吧？这是写信。好，中文的翻译就在右手边，我就不多讲了。OK， 那。嗯，基本上它的写法呢比较进阶。一般来讲，如果你中文程度很好，那变成这种商业书信才需要这样写。不过基本上它的字有点难了。OK， I hereby request you to affect the following remittance。它这边 affect 话把它当动词比较少 ，affect 把它把它当动词，因为它是名词居多。OK， 我看一下，看它是不是真的是把它当动词。OK， 生效实现。嗯、um, ，如果你有印象的话呢 ，affect 这个字呢，在一般我们国高中在读的时候是名词，是效果，对，或者是效应，那通常是名词。那这边的话呢，在商业书信，它是用动词的用法 ，OK， 蛮进阶的，可以参考一下。Right sentences number one, I have read and will comply with all the following terms. 这边的话，你会讲说很奇怪，为什么我知道这是念 read 而不是 read， 对不对？因为 have 加过去分词这边自动，即便在同个拼音的情况下，它的念法就会不一样。OK， I have read and will comply with all the following terms、uh,。OK， number two， please write in capital letters and choose the proper method of the remittance。这边我想要介绍的很好用单词是很好用的单词就是 capital letters， 就是大写。Number three, the bank's transfer fee outside Taiwan are to be borne by the remitter. Four, I hereby request you to affect the following remittances subject to the conditions overleaf. Five, in payment of the above remittance, please debit my account with you. Six, I agree to be bound by all the regulations. 感觉这边很多法律的单词，嗯 ，bond 这个字是负担或承担。Capital letters 的话呢，是讲英文字母的大写，跟我们中文写数字的大写是不一样的。OK， 那告诉大家，如果你要翻译给西方人或翻译给不会中文的人，然后假设他会写中文，然后你说可以写大，可以写数字的大写吗？你英文会怎么翻译 ？OK。那很简单，就是 Could you Could you please write the um the numbers 或者是 figures in words 就好了。For example, for example, 三百等于 three hundred dollars. OK， 类似像这样子，要别人写数。
数字的大写，或者是用文字把它写出来，就是 Could you please write the numbers or figures in words? Okay, let's finish off with a quick read of the keywords: branch, hereby, effect, remittance, overleaf, remitter, signature, payment, debit, comply. Good luck, everyone.